Hi, I'm Patrick Legans, the Wine Geek Food Freak. Uh, welcome to another episode. Today, we're going to learn a very traditional risotto, a mushroom risotto. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun techniques that you get to learn, uh, especially how to treat Borio rice. Um, I'm going to start off with some butter, and then I have some yellow onion. I like to uh, do onions and uh, mushrooms usually on like a medium temperature because uh, you want to sweat them out. You want them to turn into like window panes uh, for the onions and then on the mushrooms you want to, over time, they'll leach out their interior uh, juices. That's one of the reasons why you don't want to add them until a little later. If you were to add them now at the beginning process, you would wind up putting too much uh, water liquid and you would stop the butter from uh, being blonde properly. So the butter is starting to, it's not quite blonde, but it's getting there. And so I want to extend that life. This is the point where I'll add a little extra virgin olive oil. Just give it a little extra life. So we're using Arborio rice. That's from the town of Arborio in the Po Valley in Italy. It is a high starch rice. I'm going to break open these husks right now by toasting them a little bit before I add our mushrooms. This is a very active uh, process, this risotto. Um, it's not something you put all the stock in and then you just wait and reduce. You want to just continually add warm stock constantly just to cover the top of the risotto, of the rice, because you want this high starch uh, uh, rice, the kernels themselves, to rub against each other. It breaks off more starch. This will have no more butter than what I put into it in the beginning, barely any. And watch how creamy this is gonna be. And it's because of the process that we do, so it's super important. I'm gonna add some mushrooms right now. I have oysters and uh, baby bolites. Let's throw this in there. I'm gonna add that salt just so I can start breaking them down a little bit. The other thing is I'm also, by stirring this and not, you know, toasting it this way, not only am I cracking the exterior of the uh, risotto, I'm also, by stirring it so much, I'm really agitating them against each other. Again, just releasing more starch. All right, I'm to a point where I think I can add my stock. I'm just gonna add it to where it's just above the top of the risotto, okay? And then I'm gonna constantly add it and stir it as I go. The more I stir it, the more creamy it will get. What we're gonna go for here is we want it just talking to you, which just means a bubble every few seconds. Bloop. It's been about 15 minutes since uh, you last saw this, and I've been adding that hot stock. I'm gonna add that Parmesan cheese right now. We're gonna save a little bit for the end. So you wanna be pretty aggressive at this point in time. This is gonna thicken this up really quick, and if you're not really active, it could stick to the bottom of the pan. And then once that flavor's in there, you're not gonna get it out. And you can see how creamy does this look with no additional butter. One tiny pat of butter at the very beginning, this is a fair amount of risotto, and that's just because we've treated the starch on the Aborio rice properly. It's so creamy, it's just amazing that it doesn't have any additional butter in there. I'm gonna place that right there. I'm gonna put a little Parmesan cheese over the top. I'm gonna take a little bit of that flat leaf parsley, just sprinkle for some color. And that, my friends, is world-class mushroom risotto. I wanna thank our sponsor, Sidework Restaurant, uh, and remember, good ingredients, a few minutes of your time, and some care, and you can eat like me, the wine geek, food freak.